Hola, por favor, and welcome to your daily dose of Fortnite. Today I'm going to be going through how to get the two new mythic survivors that have been added to the game. Um, these are not lead survivors, these are just normal survivors that go in your squads, and they are mythic, which was not obtainable in the game up until now. Uh, so Epic just released these side quests that are available once you complete Plankerton Storm Shield Defense 5, and I'm going to go ahead and go through them now and let you know how you can get your hands on these survivors. The first quest you're going to have to do is called Save the World. It's under your side quests menu. Um, you can see it just says Save Survivors of Successful Missions. You have to save 100 of them and you're only going to get 100 gold for this one. Um, the fastest way to do this is just to do any uh, Rescue the Survivors mission and you're going to have to do about 7 of them. Remember, you only need 6 survivors to complete the mission but there is a total of 15 in each mission. Um, so. 15 times 7 I believe is uh, 105, um, so if you do 7 missions, save all the survivors in each one, you're going to go ahead and complete this mission. Okay, so I've completed the Save the World quest, so now I get a new side quest called Husk Takedown, where I have to kill a thousand husks in a 40 plus zone in successful missions. Now, the best way to do this is probably um, like a higher level storm shield defense just because so many husks spawn during the storm shield defenses um, If you can't do that, uh, I would probably recommend doing encampment missions just because there are a good amount of husks that spawn in those and Those are pretty quick to speed run. You can just go kill all the encampments and then the mission ends now with the new change um, So you could just speed run a bunch speed run a bunch of encampment missions as well That's how I would recommend doing this one Alright, so now I have completed uh, killing a thousand husks, so you can see I get a new quest, Mist Monster Hunter. Uh, kill Mist Monsters in a successful mission in a 40 plus zone, I need to kill a hundred of them. And the advice for this one is going to be pretty much the same, um, you're going to want to do either a Storm Shield Defense or Encampments. Um, with the Encampments you can actually farm them in the same mission, um, you just trigger the Encampment, then um, kill the Mist Monsters, run away so the Encampment like resets, and then just re-engage the encampment again and just keep killing the mist monsters. That's a good way to do this one. Okay, so I've completed the mist monster hunter quest and you can see now I've got a uh, couple new side quests. One is called Joel's Pub. Um, become a regular at Joel's Pub by visiting it on two occasions in a 40 plus zone found in city zones. And I'm gonna get a mythic survivor Joel and 30,000 survivor XP for doing that and then portraits of someone special. Look for portraits of Carolina while ridding the world of husks and monsters, most often found in the attics of old houses. So gather portraits of Carolina in a 40 plus zone, I need 10 of them, then I get Carolina, a mythic survivor, and 30,000 survivor XP. Okay, so you can see I have a exclamation point here on the map. So I'm gonna go ahead, break this, and then there's a portrait inside of like a piano or organ thing. That's weird. It says it's supposed to be an addix, but apparently not always. But that's what you're looking for. So it looks like these are going to be in basements? I don't know. It said look in the attic, but so far I've found two in the basement. And the one in like the second story, so that's interesting. So I guess just look for the exclamation points on your map, just like all the other quests, and that'll be pretty much the best way to find them. All right, so you can see right here is what the pub is gonna look like. It's kind of like the one if you did the spring event for the Leprechaun. Uh, it used to be, I think it was Moe's. Now it's Joel's. Um, so you're just going to have to find it in a city zone. Um, I think it can appear possibly in a suburban zone, but I found it in the city zone. Just a big like skyscraper building. You're just going to walk into it, and then boom, Joel's Pub discovered one and two. So you just got to do that twice, and then you'll get the Joel Mythic Survivor. Okay, so I got the Joel's Pub quest completed. So now I'm going to get my reward of Joel. He's a Mythic Survivor. You can see I got... Um, I think that's the cooperative personality and trap damage. Um, I'm not sure if that's static or if people will get different uh, 
personality bonuses and um, like squad bonuses. So let me know what you guys get when you pick him up. And I'm also going to get the 30,000 survivor XP, which is nice. And then if we take a look at him, you can see comparing him to just like a normal legendary survivor. Uh, legendaries are power level 20 at level 1 and he is level 25 so I'm gonna go ahead and level him up and uh, see how high he goes. I don't think I'll have enough to go all the way up to the top but we'll get him to maybe three stars. Dreamer is the personality. We won't be able to get him all the way up to four stars, um, so I'm going to leave him at full three stars right now. Um, you can see this must be a bug here. It's uh, not showing his stars, but he is a three star survivor right now. So you can see he's ten above, ten power levels above a legendary survivor that's maxed out at three stars. Um, again, not sure why it's not showing <laughs> the three stars here, but that is what I leveled him up to. So. There you go, that is Joel, and then we will take a look at the other one, um, Carolina, as soon as I finish that quest. Alright, so now I've completed Portraits of Someone Special, so we're going to get Carolina, the mythic survivor, and it looks like her personality, um, I, don't, I don't know what that is, we'll take a look at it, I call it the Star Trek one, and then she's got the shield uh, bonus, and then we get our 30,000 XP again, so we'll take a look. Oops, not a hero, survivor. So it is, let's see, it's not, here we go. Adventurous, that's the name of the survivor. Or the personality, sorry. Kind of kind of like Star Trek, I guess. So there you go, guys. That's how you get the two new mythic survivors. Um, again, these are not lead survivors. These are just regular survivors that are mythic. Um, so these were unobtainable before. Um, so definitely do these side quests um, and go ahead and get yourself some two, uh, mythic survivors. As always, guys, uh, if you enjoy my videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification button so you always be notified when I release a new one. But other than that, thanks for watching and have a great day.